Well, hello guys. We are looking at my winder I've been working on over the last couple of weeks. Um, just a few close-ups I'll give you. This is my uh, Fairchild optical slot switch, the H22B1. And I just kind of made a little holding unit for it with the uh, soldered leads. I'm using a, a CD disc to um, trigger it. And I'm using a sewing machine motor, as you can see in the back end there. And on the inside we have our breadboard. And right now I'm using a 9 volt battery going through the 5 volt regulator for the emitter collector side. And I'm using a 1.5 volt to run the anode cathode side. Try and get you a better view of that. And this is the Vita Root counter I'm using. And this is my bobbin on a 3 8 shaft and I used uh, just a collar that I uh, crazy glued to a uh, plexiglass quarter inch disc uh, for the bobbin mount. And you can tell this is from an old sewing machine because of the uh, the secondary plug in here. Uh, it came from Italy. It was a Necchi or a Necchi uh, sewing machine. Anyways, we'll give it a run. I'm just using a the foot switch by hand right now. Let me get a shot of that. Uh, there we go. So it seems to be triggering okay. Uh, the disc I ended up having to put two separate uh, clearings because it was not uh, triggering on every uh, opening or clearing. So I added a secondary one and it seems to be working. Uh, I still need to consolidate my power source. I'm running a 12 volt for the, the counter which I want to use on the breadboard which will run the uh, optical switch. And this is going to be, I think, my traverse unit, if I decide to use it or not. It's something I was just playing with today. And you can see here I have my um, uh, limiter uh, section there. I'll just move that out of the way. And uh, so basically you have the um, limiter section here. And the traverse would be here. I'm thinking it's just doing a hand crank uh, manual version that way I can control how fast it uh, sweeps back and forth. That's the idea anyways. And uh, so there you have it. Right now I'm using uh, just brass bushings which I'm going to upgrade uh, to 3 8 bearings once I get around to it. And we'll just see where we're at here now. So once I get the whole thing kind of set up and put together, I think it'll be a fairly decent winder. There we go. Hope you enjoyed it.